Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and kind of update you guys some more with the Life Righteous Fire character that we're playing on uh, in the beta. So just to keep you guys a little updated, we are currently level 84 on our character. And I've done a little bit of gear swapping from the previous video. Uh, I don't remember exactly everything. I think majority of my gear is still similar. Um, I did swap to a new ring. I'm not using Pyre anymore. And the reason why is I picked up a Doriani's Catalyst. <clears throat> which is actually not best in slot because you can craft some pretty insane scepters these days uh, with the new fire damage rolls. You can get like 140, I think even to 160% elemental damage with a really high attack speed roll as well. Um, but I decided to put on Doriani's Catalyst because I was pushing a bit higher tier of maps. <clears throat> and that's pretty much about it. I did redo my passive tree a tad bit because I decided there's no point in getting blood magic. And the reason why is not because of the sacrificing of auras, but mainly because I'm level 84 right now and I still have quite a few life notes to pick up. Uh, so we've got 84, maybe 85, 86, 87, 88. Uh, we've got endurance charges, so like 89, 90, uh, 91, 92, 93, although I don't even think I'm gonna get these two. <clears throat> we also have a life node over here and two more life nodes over by here We could also spec one point up and grab tireless as well And I was even thinking of grabbing soul of steel because soul of steel gives me all riz Which I actually kind of need right now and the physical damage reduction will really help counteract uh, the berserkers uh, Increased damage taken although I haven't really had much issues with physical damage So I want to go ahead and show you guys a quick at Ziri run and kind of how it goes for people who are curious, I figured I'd mix it up just a little bit for you guys. Just to go over the links really fast, it's very simple. We've got Ink AoE, Elemental Focus, Righteous Fire, and Burn Damage. Um, that's going to be swapped. Well, Ink AoE will be swapped with Conk Effect for bosses. One more thing to add in. In terms of gear hunting, I am looking for, like, uh, I guess, 190 plus life Combs Boots or Combs Roots that are not corrupted. Majority of them are corrupted because they come from the Divination cards. <clears throat> but uh, the reason why I want uncorrupted ones is so that I can Labyrinth enchant them and I can get the, like, life regen uh, enchant because the life regen will be super good. Also, we currently have a level 19 Purity of Fire. If I were to get that to 23, I would get an extra plus 2 max res because level 20 will be an extra plus 1. Uh, so we still do have quite a bit of HP regeneration to pick up, so I'm pretty happy about that as well. We are currently at 93 fire res, we should be 95 uh, once we have our purities going. Well, not purities, but just purity of fire. I was also thinking of maybe trying to run arctic armor, but I never really got around to doing that. But that might be something to look forward to or think about in the future. Actually, I don't even think I'm lightning res capped. Oh, it's cold res, I'm not capped on, never mind. That's actually without Elemental Overload, which is pretty crazy. Since Elemental Overload is, what is it, 40% more? Yeah, 40% more damage. Man, you know, I'm actually really happy that Azuri's area gives, like, pretty decent XP because everything's like a blue mob. Even though I just missed, like, a whole blue pack back there, but oh well. I don't really think I take much damage from that. I mean, I stood in that rain for a little bit. It didn't really do that much. Definitely manageable. Boots, man. Yeah, 
All right, and time for Adzubi herself. So Flame Blast hit me for, was that 2.5k, no, no uh, Ruby on? Not too bad. Storm Call hits me for, oh, feels bad, it went away. Yeah, that's not that bad at all. Oh, that's actually kind of awkward. Now nah, we're good. So that's a quick Adziri run. And now I want to go ahead and show you guys in a tier 10 map. So this is going to be quite a... Quite a tanky map actually because it's got 24% more monster life, unique boss has increased HP and monster elemental resistance, not to mention that it is Oak who also gains endurance charges. So this is going to be an example of a map where you're pretty much going to be not at like your all time low damage on the boss fight, but you're definitely going to take a big notice because I don't want to just show you guys in simple easy content. Oak is actually like relatively tanky. So in this vulnerability map, I actually barely even degen, which is really nice. So I've noticed that in my opinion, um, oh, it actually like fucking hurt quite a bit. But I was going to say in my opinion, it's actually easier to get this character going like with the minus, well not minus max, but uh, the less regen, the vulnerability, etc. than it was on my Righteous Fire character, which was pretty cool. I haven't really noticed the damage fall off yet, but I know on this map specifically, this boss fight should take a little bit longer than usual, probably even like maybe like 20-30 seconds uh, because of the increased boss life and whatnot. And I can even tell right now these mobs, normally the mobs would die instantly, but I notice these guys stay alive much longer. Um, one big thing I think which would be a great addition to the boost is if I somehow managed to get plus one curse somewhere. If I got plus one curse, I could drop vitality and I could run blasphemy flammability and I think that would be a lot better. We also have to take into consideration that I do believe they said they want to nerf Witchfire Brew. And if they nerf Witchfire Brew, it's kind of going to suck a little bit. Uh, they didn't specifically say Witchfire Brew, but they did say that they're targeting unique flasks in general. So I'm really concerned about that because Witchfire is like a huge, huge thing for this build. Uh, with being able to apply your curse in such a, such a, a good way, I guess you could say. Alright, let's uh, let's do a little swap a root here. Mr. Mr. Oak. You gonna bully me, dude? Oh yeah, this is like this is like tank to the max, dude. Excuse me, Mr. Oak. Why do you have to be so fucking tanky? This is like super tanky. <laughs> nice. Oops. Okay, we're good. I think we're leaning towards about... Hmm, I want to say like 9.5 to 10k HP. It is very possible to get even closer to 12k HP, potentially even 12k HP. But I feel like you're sacrificing damage and just other stats at that point. So I'm not really going to bother too much with that. And if you guys want an example, if I were to just pop in, I think I have a belt here. No, where did I put it? Oh, this belt. So this is a pretty insane belt. 98 life with 37 life implicit with a 47 strength roll. This belt should put me like 9k. Yeah, this belt puts me to 9,000 HP as an example. Uh, these gloves could have a strength roll and much higher life. This ring could have a strength roll. This ring could have a strength roll. Uh, this amulet's honestly pretty solid. We can't really ask much more for that. And this helmet could have a hybrid with a strength roll, I believe. So we can definitely push towards 10k uh, with the build as well. I was also thinking of doing something interesting with spell block on the character using a Saffle's frame instead of a Rise of the Phoenix. But I don't really have to worry about that now. Um, so I guess the next couple days is going to be spent, probably next two days, uh, leveling up. I'm playing pretty casually right now. So maybe hitting like low 90s. 
and then potentially killing uh, Guardians and then attempting Shaper and seeing how that goes. I did get a Occultist Vestment drop, which was pretty cool. This is a Shavs for people who don't know. Um, let's see what the yes is now on it. This is a 321 Shavs. I think that's near perfect, actually. I think 150 is perfect now. So we can actually make a Low Life Righteous Fire character next, and we can put them side by side. Uh, since I have like still a week and a half until the uh, launch re uh, releases. So we can pick a low life RF character right after this guy and I'll just zoom him up and I can put them side by side and see how they compare. Although I really do think or think that Life Righteous Fire Berserker is totally fine. I think that maybe with quite a bit of investment in min-maxing you can still make an insane Righteous Fire character or low life Righteous Fire character. In fact, you may even want to use like a six link Scorching Ray or something as well um, with it due to the, I guess the boss HP increase. But that's, that's for another video. Anyway though, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys are curious about the new MTX system, I'll make a video uh, covering this in a little bit. It's actually really cool what they did with it. Um, it's not, basically MTXs are not bound to your character anymore. So that's pretty fucking cool. Um, so you can pretty much just like click and go through. Actually, what is the microtransactions and stash. Here we go. It's like really cool the way you can kind of organize it now. But yeah, remember if you uh, if you like the video, you can always catch me streaming live on twitch.tv uh, slash pox. Um, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.